Hey guys, I want to show you how to open an application by your voice or speakable items. Um, first, you have to understand what this thing is. Um, in order to open that up, you could go to System Preferences and go down to Speech. And right here, if this is speakable items is off, turn it on. Select the command set. Uh, che I'll check them all because uh, as you start to use it, you're going to want to use more of it so just close that out this is open and let me show you a little bit about this um, if you go down to this bottom button right down there uh, you can go to open speech command window and actually list uh, stuff you can say so application switching means switching from one application to another not like expose but uh, it, it works sometimes. It's it's rather good. Uh, speakable items is the most important. It's whatever speakable items you've put in there or whatever was the system defaults. And uh, menu bars or whatever in the, whatever program you're in, you can say file menu or uh, go menu or edit menu. Um, you can go to uh, the front window and you can go to also the address book, which is really cool because you can say meeting with whoever at our AM or PM and it will save it in your iCal events and in your address book. So anyway, uh, long story short, you can, if you want an application to open, like you just got a new application, go to script editor and type in this. I'm not going to go over Apple Script, but this is real easy. Tell app meta x. It's whatever application you have there to open. When you're done typing that, hit compile. Now, sometimes when you hit compile, it the actual finder window comes up and asks you, what application again? So what you're going to want to do is just find the application that you want to open because it, you didn't type it in either exactly correct or the way it likes it and just go to it and, and click open and then it will fill that in uh, the way it wants it. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and test run this by hitting this run window. So when you hit run, it's going to give me an error. Always does that. But nonetheless, meta x is open. So I'm going to quit that. In order to make it speakable, you're going to want to go to Save As. And you want to save it as, as whatever you're going to say to open it. So open Meta X. Don't just say, don't just type in Meta X. Because sometimes speakable items gets confused with other speakable commands. So type in Open Meta X. It's a lot better. Save it to my desktop. I like that file format script and leave that alone. So, saving, <sighs> get rid of that. So, what you're going to what you're gonna wanna do is um, click on it, and your default hotkey is escape key. So, you're going to want to hit that button before you're ready to say this. I made mine this key. So, what you're going to want to do is hit your hotkey and say make this speakable open medax.scpt is now speakable so when that's done you can go right here op uh, open speech preferences go to this <coughs> open speakable items folder and drag this right into your application speakable items and just close that and close this. So I'm going to make sure Meta X is not open. And when I hit my hotkey and say open Meta X, it opens Meta X. Simple. And you can do that with any program. Uh, Safari, Final Cut Pro, Motion, uh, I don't believe Photoshop is, but you can do it. Um, and any program you have, you could just tell application in parentheses to open um, 
save it as whatever you want to save it as, put it in your speakable items, and make sure you make this speakable. So that's the process. Uh, I'm going to quit this. I don't want to show you something real quick. I got, it's over five minutes, but I want to show you something anyway because I, I think it's pretty damn useful. Um, when you're in Safari, it has a completely different new command set. So I'm here, and uh, let's say let's say I want to go to uh, Creative Cal, and I don't uh, I don't have this this website speakable yet. So I want to say make this speakable. It's going to bring up a command line that says when I say. Creative cow, I want you to open. So hit OK. So that creates a uh, that puts um, command line in your in your speakable item saying make that speakable, make this website speakable. So if I go back to Apple and I say hit my hotkey again and say Creative cow, Creative cow opens. So I really like that. It's it's easier than you know trying to remember a website or whatever. If you like website, just make it speakable by saying, make this speakable. All right, guys, my time's up, and it's probably getting pretty big, this, this file, so I'm going to go. Hope you learned something. Thank you.